Let's see how these fit. Oh, wow. What's up everyone, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. I just finished a yoga sesh, made a smoothie, and I'm about to pump, pump, pump it up. Cause I never did that last week. If you watched last week's vlog, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you're gonna see in a sec. As soon as I roll this mat up, what we're working with today. Everything has to be put away super neat, maybe, you know? I'm sitting like this, like a little weirdo. I filmed another segment for my smoothie tings. So that'll be a video coming soon. But first, let's pump, pump it up. It's supposed to rain all week. This is the only semi-sunny day. It was so beautiful, of course, when I was doing YouTube things. And now that I want to go outside, the clouds are rolling in. But hey, hola. <laughs> I also got some goggles. I think if you, yeah, I did show you in last week's vlog that I got these. My brother picked them out for me. And then an oh so sexy shower. No, it's not a shower cap. I keep calling this swim cap a shower cap. How am I gonna fit this on my head though? Hey, big head. <laughs> it's gonna have to work because I don't want my curls to drop out because I'm trying to learn to swim. This vlog, we're gonna get over my fear of swimming or rather fear of drowning. Cause I know how to swim. I took lessons, but I'm still for some stupid reason terrified. So hopefully with the goggles and the swim cap, looking like a fool, I'll conquer my fears with you. Do you have to pay for air at the gas station? I got a broken pump. It sounds like it's doing something. I don't think it's doing anything. Okay, this is how far I got in about 20 minutes. Not bad, about halfway. I thought, let me bring it down and blow up the rest since it's so huge. But as I was going down, a neighbor stopped me and said, hey, are you going to the pool? I'm like, yeah. Then he told me that pool floaties are not allowed. He said, There's so many new people in the building and they don't know, but we're not allowed to have pool floaties. You can try, but... Mike might stop you. I'm like, I don't want to cause a bad or hassle or trouble for the super. So let me just drop it back up here. But that really burst in my bubble. How fashionable is this? Is it a good look or no? What's your name? Alicia, yours? Heather. Nice to meet you again, nice Heather. Nice to meet you. Yeah. That's my cue to go back upstairs. I don't need this anymore. Feels so fresh now. I don't know what to do with this. I asked one of the supers, he said, it should be okay as long as I go first thing in the morning when no one's there, because of course, if someone wants to swing and this big tea is in the way, that's not, that's not fair to everyone else, right? So the only thing is the next sunny day is not until next Saturday, a whole week from now. I'm thinking, I can't, I live in a small studio, okay? There's nowhere where I can store this that it won't be an eyesore. The thing is bigger than me, literally. Week is looking dreary, but you know what's looking good? This guacamole. So good. I put so much cilantro because it's my favorite thing of life. I heard something at the door and he didn't even knock. I just heard it drop. <laughs> I got my spidey senses tingling, it skims. A hey, should we do, should we do, should we do a little try on haul? Hey, maybe I will later on today, but I want to finish eating first. Another package, I told you guys I cheated. I'm not supposed to be buying anything from now until November. No buy till November. There's no but. There's no reason why other than this is the black one, right? Yep, other than I wanted to try Soft Lounge in March. 
or was it April? It was March or April, and it sold out. So let's see what this is about. Okay, I do feel the difference from the cotton ones I have. I figured I can wear the, ooh, these are really small. Did I buy the extra small? They're small. I think I got the double extra small, which turns out to be my size. I'm actually more of an extra small in skims than a double extra small. Okay, this is extra small. Let's see how these fit. Oh, wow, this is so soft. I love this material way more than their cotton one. If I only knew, I probably wouldn't have bought the last set, to be honest. I wonder if this is gonna fade, though. Okay, this is the collection so far in the order that I got them. These are now officially my favorite. They're just so much softer. <laughs> Afternoon loves, trying to do something a little different for Monday. So I'm going out for lunch, using my lunch break wisely since it was supposed to rain today and it turned out to be so beautiful. It's 34 degrees, that's what I'm talking about. And we're gonna go get some food. I just don't know what we're gonna eat just yet. Oh my gosh, it's been a minute. Here he is, the guy you've been waiting for on my vlogs. What have you been asking about? Oh, in the DMs. Yeah. Don't even want to know. A lot of girls, I hope. Some girls, some guys. Oh, some guys too. Oh, that's good. You so I got so a big range of options. Be then. appealing for both sides. <laughs> it's... What the hell? It's not the worst thing ever. Go to your straw? Yes, because it'll taste better there. I don't know why you drank the rim. See, much better. Still fake watermelon. But I feel like it would look nicer if the whole street was consistent. Poutine style. Wow. Tony garlic ting. Look at him fiending. With, uh, the crew there, fam? Yeah, you can have some. Dig in. A little bite of everything. Right. Or is it too sweet? It's really hot. Just making sure no one steals his bike. Oh, I'm so full. I wasn't able to eat all of it, which is probably a good thing. I'm gonna go home and finish the rest of my day. I'm so thirsty. I think I'm gonna make a smoothie when I get in. I don't know what it is, but. Anytime I eat unhealthy, I feel it immediately. I never used to be like this. In fact, truth be told, before I started taking nutrition as my undergrad, I didn't eat healthy at all. It was really, really bad. So maybe I didn't work in my field, but it was definitely a lifestyle change. And for that, it was worth every penny. I don't want to put dates in this one or do I? I don't know. I'm going to do cinnamon. My secret weapon, a little bit of vanilla extract, and coconut and coconut, coconut sugar. I just made this almond coconut cinnamon hemp heart smoothie. I put a half a banana in there too, so it's not too sweet, because I put a little bit of coconut nectar in there. Oh, I'm wearing the set. I don't know if you can see it from here, but I'll show you later. It looks really good. I love how chic it is. You know me, because I worked at Zara for so many years, and when I was there, we'd always have to do one fitting room shift, a shift, like you'd be put in different sections. So whenever I was in the fitting room, all I ever heard the girls say is, oh my God, so cute. Oh my God, so cute. That top is so cute. Aren't these shoes so cute? Oh, this is cute, but it doesn't suit me. There was no other adjective other than cute. So if you notice, whenever I do a lookbook or anything to do with style, I never say cute. I might have once in 10 years, but more often than not, I will say chic or I'll describe the garment. But literally, even when I'm watching other girls' YouTube videos, nine times out of 10, they describe things by saying, oh my gosh, isn't this so cute? It is good and it's not too sweet. I put two scoops, two tablespoons of almond butter in there just to give me some extra protein. The hemp artists help clean out because 
After five, I'm just enjoying a little bit more. Well, I can't really call it sun because there ain't no sun over here, but it's the perfect temperature. This is giving me Miami vibes. This is what it feels like because it's humid, but it's still perfect for me because I love the heat. I'm just gonna sit here for a bit. I'm listening to Justin Sky album. Can you hear it in the background? It's actually really good. So many people dropped last week. The only one I was really paying attention to was her. She's my everything. On that note, I was thinking about quitting my what in the world videos. I bet you didn't think I was gonna say that. But I was looking at the analytics and it's not doing that well. Considering that it takes me, what, two, three hours to do the research for all the topics I talk about and then another three to four hours to edit the video and of course an hour to film, set up all that stuff. <sighs> I made it to 11 episodes and I really had fun doing this little commentary bit for you, but I mean, things come, things go. So that's why you gotta let me know what you like on my channel by tapping the like button, of course, commenting down below. I don't know why I woke up so early today. I have over an hour before my shift, so I might as well do a couple spins around the art. So let's see how we do. I'm so happy that it's not supposed to rain until 11. According to the weather network, it was supposed to be raining since Sunday. So I'm happy that they were wrong yet again. I hope that they're wrong, because if you didn't know, Thursday is our Canada day. July 1st, and I want it to be sunny. I want to go on a big adventure. And of course, bring you guys along, but that'll have to do. Can't zip it up. So I'm just gonna do a few laps, nothing crazy, then I can come back and fix my hair. Maybe go for a swim during my lunch. If it's too busy, I won't bring this because <laughs> I don't want to interfere with anyone's swim. So I just need my keys. Should I bring my health card in case I bump my head? No, let's think good thoughts. I always get so paranoid whenever I first get back into rollerblading. It's like skating, the first skate of the season. Terrified. I took lessons in everything. It's because I can't stop. Sounds familiar to swimming, right? All these fears to get over this year. every day I'm not I'm literally gonna wash and wear it every single day I work from home to make it worth the money I spent on it it's so comfy so I'm not sad I'm not mad about it at all but right now we're gonna make a quick vanilla date smoothie sweet for me. So what we going to do is add some spinach. If I had kale, I would add that. Plus, look, the dates didn't even blend properly. Okay, let's see what we got here and then get back to work. Don't mind the mess of the cup. Can you hear that? I guess the weather network was right. I don't see rain, but I hear thunder. We got to talk. Do you hear that? It starts and then it stops. See, it stopped again. It's a brrr, it stops. Then 10 seconds later, brrr, five seconds stop. I don't know what's going on, but mother nature is acting haunted. I hope no one's caught out in this. I love thunderstorms. We don't get too many here. I wouldn't want 
any more than we get maybe what four or five a year it's perfect especially when you're indoors when you're caught out in it not so bad i was listening to a pod that just ended right at 4 30 so i have about half an hour to go left go left with this shift where's my english i have half an hour left at my shift sorry i woke up at like what five six this morning it's a gloomy day, which is the perfect vibe for a good pod, which reminds me, I should probably, as soon as the clock hits five, film at least my Patreon pod, if not my public pod. I might do the public one later tonight, but I'll do the Patreon as soon as I'm done. But anyway, enough rambling. This pod had me teary-eyed. It was about doctors who have succeeded or attempted to end their lives. I don't know what kind of words I can use here on YouTube because a lot of things are censored, but it was very triggering. And at the end of the podcast, one of the doctors, thank God he wasn't successful in completing his life, said that if he hadn't made attempts, he wouldn't know what it was like when he sat with a patient for 45 minutes who was living with terminal cancer and understanding the fear of life slipping away from you. So in that moment, he could relate. And he said, doctors are not only here to help preserve and prolong life, they're also supposed to help preserve and protect the end of life too and the transition of it. And I just thought that was so beautiful. It's very rare too, because I don't know about you, but I might have met maybe two doctors that actually care. And one of them is not my doctor, it's a friend of a friend. And the other one was my family doctor growing up. Every other doctor that I've had here, they don't really care. We gon' bake a cake, 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 cake. I hope I have enough cake batter. I got this from Bulk Barn. It said red velvet. I was like, why not? This is not giving three cups. This is giving like one and a half. Let's just say I put it in the bag before I read the instructions. So we'll see if I don't have enough, this will be awkward. Could I do two eggs with two cups? I think so. We can try that. One. The assumption is you would take out one egg. You would take out a third of the oil. Should be fine. We'll do it. I know math. There it goes. Why am I failing at this? Easiest cake of life. That's it. Let's see how much this rises though. Ugly, I don't know what I was trying to do. I think it'll be okay. Talk about multitasking. Cake done. And I also have meal prep. Loves. I don't know if you can tell, but it's drizzling. It better not be like this tomorrow for the holiday. Anyway, I'll see you when I get to work. There's no one here, so I'm mask off so I can breathe. Plus. I want my lip balm to stick to it. It kind of gets gross after a bit. So, what's the password for this one again? I forget every Wednesday. Hello, where's the... I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I'll leave with my left hand because once upon a time, I thought it'd be a wise idea to try to cut a frozen bag. And I sliced my ligament. So this is the furthest I can push it back. Even this hurts a lot. Anyway, I just wanted to share that fun fact today. The strangest thing just happened. I'd love to tell you, but it's a matter of personal safety or maybe not even personal safety, just security. So I'm gonna save that. Maybe I'll tell you in a year from now. But anyway, anywho, I'm just over here. I came here to drop some stuff off and also see how much this is gonna cost to send it back. If it costs more than $15, I will keep it and maybe get it altered. If it costs less, back to Australia it goes because there's no point in keeping clothes that don't fit. <coughs> Ooh, my sneezes are far from ladylike. I've been feeling like I need to sneeze all day, so finally I got out of my system. But yeah, I'm just gonna water these before I go. Am I doing this right? <laughs> Some popcorn, but first, but first, 
let there be light. I mean, it turned out to be a sunny evening, but now it's after nine, so what do you know? How much of a conspiracy theorist I've become? So I was thinking, what if this is by design? Since if they said it was sunny and they don't really want people out like that, even though we're entering stage two and people can get haircuts and I can get my gargoyle feet done, they don't want everyone running these streets, you know? So what if, I'm such a theorist, what if they told the weather network to say that it's gonna rain 60% so that no one plans anything? Did it have to do that at the end? Was that necessary? Do you think it's too light to turn on the lights? It's still dusk, right? Wow, it turned out to be so beautiful today. Let's see if it keeps up all day. Should I go for a swim after yoga? It doesn't feel like a Thursday, but happy Canada Day to all my Canadians. I wouldn't mind having Thursday off every single week. It feels so much. I just eased into the day. I still work, woke up really early, even though I was up until three watching that show. I have two episodes to go. So talk about obsessed. It's so good. They better do a season two. But then again, no Netflix. It'll come out in like three years, but I don't care anymore. Oh, I really thought after Handmaid's Tale, I'd never be so into a series again. This... Binging is not good for your health, okay? So on the roster today is a big question mark. Initially, I was hoping to take you guys out of the city. There's just so many boroughs and different places that I've never been before. We can go hiking, waterfalls, swimming, beaches, but that didn't work out. So maybe we'll go back to the island today, which is still really nice. It was mild, but not hot. I was freezing when I got out of the pool. So I didn't sit out for too long, which means I can make up for lost time later on. I try to call to make an appointment for my petty and they're fully booked today. No surprise there. I should have told her that I live in the neighborhood and I'm a walk. I could just walk, but whatever, whatever's meant to be will be. Maybe there's a reason why I'm going tomorrow at 4.30. Why am I holding a knife like this? When July 1st hits, it always feels like, yes, yeah, summer's starting, but it also feels like, wow, it's so short-lived. I want this today. Am I making an ice matcha? I'll make a hot matcha. It's not that hot today. Let's do cream of Earl Grey. I guess I can pack some cake too. I never iced it, so it should be okay all day outside. Look how squishy it is. I love it. Here we go. Still a vibe out here. There's so many people. I'm 
mean, not as many people as I thought in all honesty because it is Canada Day, but I figure most people went north or to the cottage or whatever, so. The guy with the well, slong out. You've never seen it. Yeah, never. It's so pretty from this side. Yeah. Your shot, oh, please. Okay, sir. Excuse me. Here. Yeah. And pull out. And pull out. Thank you. Even the server over here. <laughs> Documenting everything. And that, that, it's that. Afternoon loves, you don't even want to know how long it took me this morning to get myself together. All I can say is, I didn't even drink that much yesterday, but drinking after 30 hits different and not in a good way. Anyway, I'm now on my little walk and I might end up walking to the nail salon that I have an appointment for after work just to see if they can squeeze me in for my lunch break. I think that'd be so much better since it's supposed to rain by 4.30 and I'm not trying to do that. Of course, as soon as I fix myself up to film, do the clouds not roll in? Do Rory and Ma. I'm just listening to their pod. I need to cook a really healthy meal for dinner because you saw how I ate yesterday. <sighs> We're gonna make a fajita bowl. I'm gonna add some. Sh When's the last time I had this? Hmm. Start from the bottom. Now we're still here. It's my secret anthem, guys. When I'm at the top, I'll change it. But for now, I'm not at the bottom. I've grown a lot. I've grown a lot. I would never want to go back to my past. Which reminds me, there's this question I've been meaning to ask you guys forever now. Is there any period or point of your life that you would redo, relive, or revisit for any reason, good or bad? I don't want to go back to any point of my past ever. Everything I lived, I'm happy I lived it. Good moments, not so good moments, terrible moments, would not relive. Her, in the name of flavor, dun, dun, dun. it's not a lot to ask, right? If you're blind, you're part of the blind fam, you know, you know. Feeling like you're stuck because you've got vision loss. Wanting badly for things to get better and change and just hoping that at the very least your vision stays the same. I told myself two years ago that I wouldn't know what I'd do if my vision got worse. You know it's gotten so much worse since then. But even today, even though I know I can survive and I've made it this far with Stargardt's, I still wonder what is this gonna be like in two years, in 10 years. I think I could manage if my vision plateaued where it's at right now. But I said the same thing five years ago. So, I don't know. It just keeps getting worse and I just keep getting more annoyed. I don't know about the rice. Anywho, I'm so glad the sun came out for the last bit of what I filmed today, my last one in the world. I'm not gonna do those videos anymore as much as I love them, because I like to get my little commentary on. They're not hitting right, so the amount of time that it takes me to find, research, double check, edit, film of course, put on makeup on my face, it's, it's not worth it. That's why, like I said before, you gotta let me know what you like by hitting the like button and comment down below so that I know I can keep making certain types of videos. This looks so good. It's just missing an avocado, but they're not ripe enough yet. I have to look that close to see my pedicure. She's like, is this good? Yes. I can't see my toes. What am I supposed to say? Let me just zoom in with my phone. I tried to in truth, but couldn't zoom in that far away to see. It looks all right. This is my first ever French manicure. I always get a color, but I wanted to be bougie with it this time. I think it looks better on other people. Okay, in this box, if you watched a couple of vlogs ago, it's the same thing. They reordered it for me because the other one was Baroque and I'm not talking about the musical period. My electric lighter. 
that lighted no more. I love that thing. Okay, hello. They usually come fully charged. This one not fully charged. Okay, cool. It works. Yeah, the light's not working. You see me pressing it. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Now, how do you turn it off? Come on. You don't have to turn this off too. Come on. Am I missing something here? Hello. Why? This is broken too. In a box it goes, woo. This is the one I ordered originally. I ordered this January of this year and it came last week. It'd be too soon. Camera died, then my microphone died, then it didn't want to turn on, then I was fumbling over all my words, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed. Is it brutal? brutally, can I speak today? No, clearly not. See, this is what was happening to me earlier, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be posted probably tomorrow. So probably even before this vlog is posted and it's gonna be a brutally honest review of Skims because I have a few thoughts about it. But like, what is this? My house is never this messy, what's life? But yeah, I'm gonna make a smoothie and I'm also gonna make some iced tea at some point. I can't believe it's so late. I haven't even gone swimming yet. I'm supposed to go swimming every day that's sunny. And I didn't go because I wanted to make sure my hair didn't look crazy. So let's make a mango, spinach, banana, pineapple. That's a lot, right? Is that too much? Banana, mango, pineapple, spinach, smoothie. Whoops. Really good. Really, really good. I winged it. Just got back from my walk putting things away, trying to get my house back in one piece. It's in shambles since I filmed that video earlier. I don't know what it is, guys, but I'm not in the mood to edit tonight. So she, I started editing a whole nother video that I'm gonna post. Well, I should have posted that today. I don't know, anyway, I'll figure it out. I just need to clean up my house, eat something, cause I am starving. I just turned my fridge back on, so it was off for seven hours. I forgot to turn it on after I finished filming, so hopefully nothing went bad in there. Hopefully. So I'm going to wrap it up here since I got a lot to do and everything's too boring to show you, so I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like button, subscribe, and share too, and until tomorrow, aka next week, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.